Now we have this Kali GPT, which is a customized GPT, assumingly used for penetration testing tasks. Now when you open the GPT, you see we have four uh, modes that the GPT works uh, with. So basically we have the defense, offense, access, investigate. So basically these are uh, defense mechanisms as stated that can be applied using Kali Linux. These can be considered as uh, playbook instructions if you are conducting an audit or if you want to harden your uh, current resources or maybe if you are also learning what are the steps taken to um, uh, in, the, in the defensive space of cybersecurity. We start with the first one, network monitoring and intrusion detection. The tools used in Kali Linux to achieve this purpose, we have Wireshark, we have Snort, Zeek, tactics use packet capture filters to isolate suspicious activity. Next, we use them to monitor abnormal uh, HTTPS, DNS, or SMB traffic, automate alerts with IPS, IDS signatures, and anomaly pays. If we would like to start with network monitoring and intrusion detection. So we're going to start with defense assessment. We're going to see what the response looks like. So let's say initiate a defense assessment using maybe uh, Wireshark. So below is a step-by-step -step playbook designed for real-time monitoring, traffic inspection, and threat detection in your Kali environment. So you should maybe uh, have a look at these instructions when you work with Wireshark. They can be considered as a, as I said earlier, playbook for learning and for guidance. Of course, there is much more to do with Wireshark than these five steps, right? Right, the offense. These are the steps that are taken when conducting a, a penetration test, but they are tailored to be used on Kali Linux. The GPT allows you to learn how to conduct an offensive campaign on these VMs. Metasploitable 2.3, Windows 10, Windows 7 with bad blood, which is a vulnerability. Launch, full recon on a machine named Tag the Box, the Box Heal. Run a fast top to bottom scan, then service enumeration. So we have the nmap scan here, identifying open ports, adding the uh, name to the host file. Okay, that's good. Subdomain enumeration, brute force, virtual host using DNS word lists. Oh, as you can see, they it, it actually searches active write ups. So this was taken from the write up I published in my blog, as you can see from the source here.